Hello, and welcome to the little apartment on the prairie. I know you can't see my face. That's because you can see my stuff here. And look at how neat and organized I am with all my supplies right here. It's pretty cool, right? Don't get used to it, though. I don't expect it all the time, okay? Okay, so today I'm going to make that salt dough like that you can make Christmas ornaments out of. And I'm only neat and organized right here. Like, it's not everywhere, so don't, like, think that it's going to be everywhere, right? Because... Yeah, that would just be silly. All right. And there you see a cat in the background. <laughs> it would only look neat and organized for a minute. So this dough, people call it salt dough, I guess, because mostly it has salt in Well, it has a lot of salt in it. It has two cups of flour. It only has three ingredients. Well, four if you want to put food coloring in it. All right. Then it has one cup of salt. And if you're wondering why I have salt in these big glass jars, it's because... I bought a bunch of salt when I was like prepping like a lunatic because like the zombie apocalypse was about to happen. And um, so this has one cup of salt. And the best way to store salt is in a glass jar because it comes in those like paper cardboard kind of containers. And if it gets wet, it's ruined. Oops. All right, that's a cup. So it's got two cups of flour, one cup of salt. And then it has about one cup of cold water, but it said to like stir some in and then like stir it some more and then you could add more. And if you bring me your Kong, I will give you a treat. But quit whining. Bring your Kong here. Bring it. And see, even my dog treats are right here where I can get them easily. Like what's in here that Isaac would like? It's a whole mess of different dog treats in here, honestly. These ones are supposed to have bone marrow in them, Isaac, and you love bone marrow. He's like, I do love bone marrow. And here's Sassy. This water is not for you, Sassafras. So I'm making the salt dough. I don't think I even said what I was making it for. I'm making it because... I want to make a mold or like a cast, a, a thing of Isaac's footprint. I want to make Isaac's footprint. So you makes it kind of like Play-Doh and then you can bake it in the oven at 250 degrees for two hours. And it's supposed to like harden it like it's permanent, you know? So that's my plan. This is probably going to be just the right amount of water. It's just going to require a lot of mixing and then kneading with my hands. So I wanted to color the dough, and I could only find my blue and green food coloring. Don't know what happened to the yellow and red, but that's okay because I was thinking blue would be pretty anyway. And I'm going to put a lot in there because otherwise I think I'm going to get a very, very light blue. Probably should have mixed that in the water. Yeah, if you want to add food coloring to yours, I think it would be better to add it to the water. I'm just going to stick my hands in here. Oh, it's cold because you're supposed to use cold water. Don't ask me what happens if you use warm water. I'm just following the directions. But I also saw some guy who made these cute ornaments with his cat's paw prints on them at Christmas time. And I thought that would be cute, so I might make paw prints out of the cat's, too. I mean, out of the cat's feet. Also, speaking of really cute and making prints out of your animal, there is somebody on Etsy who will send you a kit to make a mold of your dog's nose, and then she makes a necklace that has your dog's, like your dog's nose, your dog's snout on a necklace. It's like $100. So... I don't know. I might have to do that with some of my stimulus money. Like, that's so totally impractical and not like me. But it could be Isaac Snoot on a necklace or a keychain if you don't want to wear a necklace. I don't know. This is kind of sticky, but I guess it's turning Play-Doh-like. It is a very pale blue, even though I felt like I put lots of food coloring in it. It feels too sticky. But that's probably because there's a lot of flour still at the bottom of the bowl. It hasn't got worked into it. So if you don't know this, when you're mixing any kind of dough and the dough's too sticky, 
it, that means it needs more flour added to it. Like, I don't know if that's intuitive or not to most people. It was not to me, but that's one thing I've learned from baking bread. Sticky dough means you add more flour. Dough that is too dry means you need more liquid. But if you add very much more, then it becomes sticky. And I do not wish to have this dough stick to the bottom of Isaac's foot. It would be edible, I guess. I mean, it's not edible like you should eat it. But I mean, like, if there's nothing toxic in it if you eat it. But I would imagine it doesn't taste very good. Because it probably tastes like salt. I'm just sniffing it. It smells like salt. Because, you know, it's 30% salt. Or half salt, I guess. Cause, well, no, I can't even math. Okay, 25% salt if you count the water. Uh, Otherwise, it's just flour and salt. Whatever, it's a lot of salt. So I think what I'm going to try and do when I get done kneading all this dough together is spread out or roll out like a circle of it on a plate. I think I'm going to put a piece of parchment paper down. Yeah, that seems good because then it won't stick to the plate. I'll put a piece of parchment paper on a plate and then put a circle of dough on the plate and then press Isaac's foot in it and then I can lift the parchment paper with the dough and all off the plate onto a cookie sheet that can go in the oven. That's my plan. I'm trying to like pick up some of this excess flour. This bit of dough is less sticky now anyway. This is going to be more than enough to get Isaac's paw print on. Then I'm going to have leftover dough that I can make something with. I don't know what. Hmm. This is almost like a bluish green. It's like a turquoise. I don't know if the color shows up very good on my computer, but that's what it is. It's like a turquoise -ish. turquoise ish color. Okay. All right. I have to go wash off my hands and I can't turn off my computer first. So you're going to have to sit here while I do that because I can't touch my computer because see my hands. All right. So see, I was organized up to the point of having all my stuff for my dough, but not organized to the point of having parchment paper and stuff to put my dough on. Okay. Now the rest of my kitchen looks less organized, right? Or you see in my front door. Okay. Um, let's see what I want. I want a small plate. Do you see that cat? That is sassy. She's insane. Hello, my name is Sassy. I am insane. And I don't mean that as an insult to people who are mentally ill, because, you know, I am too. But look, that cat's not right. She's trying to get the magnets off my refrigerator. That's what she's doing. That's why I hardly have any magnets on my refrigerator, and the ones that are there, I can't use to hang anything up because she does that. All right, parchment paper. I've decided parchment paper is one of the best inventions ever. I used to not want to use it because I wanted to be environment friendly, and you can't environmentally friendly, and you can't recycle it, but man, I recycle like... A lot more, I think, than the average person, so I'm just using parchment paper now when I need it. And I will be good to the environment in other ways. Because seriously, parchment paper is wonderful stuff. It makes baking and cleaning up after baking, like your cookie sheets don't get so dirty. It's, it's good stuff. 
And then, like, I'll save, like, this little piece of it. Like, I'll do something else with it. I don't know what, but, I mean, I'll save it and I'll use it some, on something. If Cassie doesn't get in my drawer, get it out and chew it up, which she might do. Okay. Got a cookie. Well, a cake pan. A baking thing I'm going to put it in. Okay. Here's what I got. And do you see who's taking over my chair? Mm-hmm. That's a sassy cat. All right, so... I kind of want this to be round, but... Maybe I'll cut it out round before I put it in the oven. I don't know. I, I have a little bit of a plan, or I can make it heart-shaped, but I don't know. But I don't want, you know what I don't want is for it to be like hand-shaped. I don't want it shaped like my hand. All right, this big thing's got to get out of my way here. I need my rolling pen. If I knew what I did with it. Ah. Okay, I decided my rolling pen used to be, like, in my way all the time, so I needed to find a better place to put it, so I did, and then I just couldn't remember where it was. That's what I get when I try to put things away. Okay, is that like even? That's like thinner in some spots than in others. Okay. Um, I need something to trace around. Because that's what I'm going to try and do is make it round. Okay. If you can't see what I'm doing, I got this lid to this gallon-sized glass jar, and I'm going around with a butter knife so I don't cut my parchment paper. And then I'm going to remove the excess dough so I have a perfectly round thing to put Isaac's paw print in. Which, now I have a jar lid that's full of dough. I should have used this lid the opposite way. Like not put it down like it was a cookie cutter on my dough. Isaac, would you like to come here? Isaac's like, I don't know what the heck you're going to do to me, Mom. Okay. We will just carry the whole computer in here, Isaac, so people can watch you get your paw print made. There's Isaac. Say hi, people. You want your Kong. I will put something yummy in your Kong as soon as we're done. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Push, 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 push. Push, 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 push. Push, push, push. Push, push. Isaac is so tolerant. If you could see, can you see the look on his face? He's like, I do not know what you are doing. People just, oh, and it's all sticking to your foot, Isaac. Um, hmm. There must be some trick about how to not have it stick all over your dog's foot. But we did not do that trick, and so it totally messed up. Um, let's think. What would make this work better? What would make this work better, Isaac? What do you think about... 
Isaac doesn't mind that it's salty. He's going to eat it. Okay. What about this? What if I tried rolling it out again and then I dipped Isaac's foot in flour? Hold on and let me get stuff and we will try that. Okay. So like five minutes later and five minutes to think about this makes me less and less sure about this whole dipping his foot in flour stuff. But I haven't come up with anything that I feel certain is any better. I thought about spraying it with baking spray, like non-stick baking spray. I don't know if that would work. And I thought about trying to put like a piece of wax paper on top of the dough so that his foot wouldn't actually touch the dough. But then it's not going to make as good a paw print. So, Isaac, bud. I know you're going to think I'm totally nuts. I need this foot. So, we are indeed dipping his foot in flour. Shaking off the excess. Shake, shake. Do we got lots of flour on there? Okay. This time we're putting it down like you're standing, so we're not getting as much in your hair, maybe. Whiskers, the last thing we need is your assistance. Like, seriously, kitten. And I think that worked. Get a towel. Clean the flower off his foot. Isaac, I think it worked. <laughs> he looks so like... Mom, I don't know what you're doing to me. Okay, I got a paw print. I got a paw print. Hold on and I'll show it to you. I'm going to have to like shake some excess flour off of it. But I did get a paw print. I recommend keeping your cats away if you try and do this to your dog because, man, like they would just love to step in my paw print and screw it up, I can tell. Okay, I'm like blowing on it to get the extra flour off because I couldn't really shake it. It's kind of missing one toe a little bit and I'm going to kind of make that toe shape with my finger because man... Because I just am. Because I'm cheating, that's why. Because I'm afraid to try it again. Oh, that's actually lovely. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, see, that turned out quite nice. All right. I'm sticking it on my pan. Um, okay, so I kind of had the idea I'd go and try to cut around it later to remove excess, and I'm still going to do that, but it's not going to be round because I don't want to put something on top of it to cut around it because I'm afraid of messing it up. And that would definitely mess it up. So, it's just going to be kind of a weird ovalish shape. Yes, the top's going to be more flat. Could have made it a heart shape. If I were more talented, I could have made it a heart shape, but if you give me a butter knife and tell me to cut out a heart shape and you think you're going to actually get a heart shape, I think you're mistaken. Okay, here's what we got. You need a deeper toenail over here. This needs to be, okay, oh that's better. Okay. This one over here, I kind of cheated because you couldn't really see the toenail so good. Isn't that nice? I just think that's really nice. Okay. All right, so 
I'm going to go bake it and then I'll come back in a few hours and show you how it turns out. Alright, here's the uh, finished paw print. I'm trying to angle it so you can kind of see it better. Um, I like how it turned out. It looks more green than blue. Um, I put the extra dough in the fridge in a covered dish. And so maybe I'll try making another one. Maybe I'll make some with the cats. I saved the flour too in a dish that not, I'm not going to use it to bake anything with. I'm just going to use it to stick other paws in if I want to make more paw prints. But it turned out pretty good. Um, the edges look a little rough, but I think that's okay. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it. I was thinking of getting like a piece of wood a little bit bigger than this. And then, you know, like staining the wood and then like super gluing this to it. Um, kind of like a plaque. I don't know. We'll see. I thought about poking a hole in it, too, and then I could have hung it up somewhere, but that just didn't really seem that, I don't know, I didn't want to do that. And I thought about making Christmas ornaments, but this would be kind of a big ornament, although if I traced right around the edges of the paw, I guess it wouldn't be. But also, I have a very bad sassy cat who takes all the ornaments off my tree. So, in terms of making paw prints, uh, into ornaments for any of them. That's not going to work very well. And I've got a piece of dog hair stuck in this dough that's like baked in there. Of course I do because there's dog hair everywhere in this house, right? Ugh, okay. All right, so that's it for today. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see y'all soon.